and welcome back to my channel. This is Didsbury Art Studio and I am Sally. If you're new around here, please stay watch the video. If you enjoy it, give it a big like at the end. Think about subscribing, it would really help me out. Let's enjoy the ride. If you are new around here, just to let you know that I'm an art textiles teacher. I spent most of my career working in schools, different types of schools, secondary schools and sixth forms. And currently, in the last couple of years, I I've been working at a hospital, teaching art and education within the hospital in a CAMS ward. Just really helps me think about how I'm operating, how I'm functioning, how I work, and whether I can help other people. This channel is something I really missed when I worked full time in school. Although I created samples and tried to create projects and themes in the art department at school, the best chance that you ever, I felt, my experience was my degree where I really had three years, year of art foundation, three years of doing a textiles degree. That really gave me a chance to really explore my artwork. But here, here on this channel, it's all about what, what seems to be happening is I keep doing different ideas, different textile samples, and I just hope that they help you. For me and all my creative vibes, and for all the art teachers and textiles teachers out there, please do publicize this channel. In today's video, we are going to do two different techniques, random line gathers, grid shearing. Let's get into it. These are the three fabrics that I'm going to use today. If I do these quite quickly, we'll see how we go. We might get more done. But we've got an old tie-dyed t-shirt that I've cut up into a square there. I have got this old, it's like an old sarong fabric and also we've got this old top here which i really like the fabric so we're going to begin with the t-shirt material which is quite thick so we'll see how we go this fabric is 15 by 18 inches across and now i'm going to look for some thread which will go so i could go with any really let's see but I'm going to go with this light blue, I think. Let's do that. And then this one is going to be random line gathers. And so I'm just going to cut a long length of thread. And the variables on this random line gather are the different types of fabrics. The different layout of the random lines that you're gonna i'm actually going to draw them on but you could just sew them randomly and be as experimental as you want and also the length of the stitches that you do will also affect the overall final piece but as we sew right at the end we pull the threads just with varying degrees of strength so you might do some loose and some tighter and you'll get different gathers in your fabric. So I'm going to draw out, let's see how this white chalk pencil goes on. No, that doesn't show up. Okay, this shows up. Back to the water erasable pen. I'm just going to draw anything, really. Layla's having a little nap next to me. She's been out early this morning for her little stalk around. And then she's back to sleeping possibly most of the day. She's been out most of the night. All right, I think that's probably enough for now. Let's see how we go. Okay, so I've got my thread. I'm not entirely convinced that this thread is going to be strong enough, so I will just try it out as a trial see if it's going to snap and if it does i'll switch it over to the upholstery thread let's start here okay so for a start my knot hasn't held let's put a bit more of a chunkier one in and actually i'm just going to switch that around i'm going to go for this shorter one here because i don't think i've given myself a long amount of thread for that other one Right, is that going to hold? Yeah. 
All right then, so you can vary the length of these stitches. Let's go with this kind of size for now, about a centimetre. It's quite nice to do a little bit of hand stitching. I haven't done any for ages. And I was thinking recently that maybe I should do a bit of beading as well, because I, I do absolutely love beading. It is time consuming, but I always like the effects. I've got tons of beads. So, we're going to head up here. Okay. Voila. There you go. Let's leave that one. Just leave the thread hanging. Or should we just try and pull it? Let's see. Yeah, I think that thread's going to be okay. Let's leave it for now. Slacken it off again and re thread. And then I'm going to sew all the other lines. Okay, I have got the stitching done and I'm just going to pull the threads. Ooh -hoo. Ooh. So obviously the large amount of fabric decreases as we gather. That is looking good. I like that. Let me show you. There we go. That's the first gather. So I would just secure that with a knot, but Really, you can just play around with how much you want to pull on that. Let's pull another one. We'll just leave that. I'm not going to tie it yet. Let's go with a different one. I'm going to pull that. So we're coming in from that angle. It's that little area. Okay, let's go with this one. Yeah, like it. Just gathering and puffing up. And then we've got this one over here. I think it does help with the fact that it's been dyed the fabrics. There's lots of different tonal strengths and weaknesses in the colour there. Pulling that in. Oh, that's lovely. So obviously we've got the pen on there, which we need to get rid of. I can spray that a bit later. But just for now, as a little sample, I like it. So I would now just tie a couple of knots to finish it off, let me do that. Okay, so I'm just gonna get rid of the blue line. It has a tendency to reappear this blue line. Let me know in the comments if that happens to you. So that's how it looks. I've just been pushing the fabric out in the bigger gathers and just designing it a little bit more. Nice little sample, put some wood in the back. Different again, but I like it on the front where it's been dyed and shows up more. All right then, there we go. Now I'm gonna leave that line gathered one um, as it is with these little puffy bits holding up. And then I'm gonna do another one of those but with, let me just go. So this chiffon fabric, as I said, this has either been given to me or I got it from a charity shop. I have no idea, but the label said it was a sarong, but I probably gravitated to the fact. It's really nice chiffon transparent fabric. So I've got 25 inches by 23 inches across. And we're gonna do the same technique again. Try longer stitches, see if that has any impact. Let's do it. Okay, what I've started to do here is I'm not gonna use the water erasable pen. This time I'm gonna use the friction pen because I intend to, after this is all gathered up, I intend to use the iron so the heat will remove this pen anyway. So I'm using a red one and I'm literally just gonna, once again, do a random design. wavy lines really. Let's try that. Have we got enough? Let's do another. 
that's the full piece. You can vaguely see where I've put the lines. So they're quite large stitches, probably around two centimetres, I'd say. The fabric is going to make a massive difference anyway, because it's going to really, really shrink with it being so thin. Okay, pulling these. So we've got this one. I think that's that's all of them chiffon very different effect let me show you i need to remove the lines so bear bear with me that's nice isn't it nice little sample so i had to use the pink and shears on the edge of that otherwise it'd fray and what I need to do now is tie the knots and then I might have a go at pressing it I do actually quite like it like that so I'm scared that if I iron it which would give us another effect I might ruin it I'll make a decision in a minute okay so that's the second random line gather but you can see there's a lot of lines on it mm, that's nice on that side too isn't it Ooh. Okay, so now I'm going to iron it. Okay. I also don't want to burn this. I'm just using a travel iron here because I found like the bigger one for our normal clothes ironing. It's a bit too heavy. I don't really want to be using it down here. And the other one that I've got is, is better for smaller pieces like the smocking. Right, it has given a different effect. I don't know if it's any better. It's just a bit flatter, obviously, isn't it? I don't know if the, the longer stitches has made too much of a difference. Let me get the other one. That's different again. Maybe it has actually. Just because the different fa fabrics are going to make a different effect, obviously, anyway. But maybe that is more loose. And with the smaller stitches, it's tighter. Possibly would have to do more, but I've got one more to do anyway. Okay, I've got a piece of fabric here, which is the back of an old blouse. 20 by 17. And you can see, hopefully see, that there is a grid on there that I've drawn out. You might want to take a screenshot of that. Hopefully it stands out. I've used my water erasable pen and I've put a load of arrows on to show you the continuous way that we're going to be sewing. So it goes and then back up that way and ends over here. And that is going to create something called a grid shearing sample. And just to show you, this fabric is really sheer. It's really lovely, actually. And you can see how it falls. So that's the sort of light fabric that you want to be using. Okay, I've just got my upholstery thread and I've just measured around. I don't want to go too long because it's going to get into a tangle. So this is as far as I'm going to give it. I'm going to cut it over here, which I have done already. And then I'll need to get some more thread for the rest of it. So just going to thread this up, tie a chunky knot on the end, and then we can start. Just notice that spider up there. Look at the size of it. Oh, you can't really see. Look at that. He's having the time of his life in the sun. Are you? Are you still sleeping over here? Are you? Hmm. Hmm. Hey. 
Yeah. It's a good girl, aren't you? I'm going to start sewing from up here and work my way around the grid. Start over here. And I'm just going to do about two centimeter stitches. So you won't believe how hot it is outside. Okay, that's all sewn up. I had to do it in two lengths of thread. So we're going to pull those now. That was one length of thread and here's the other one. I'm using the upholstery thread on this piece because I wasn't sure whether that machine thread was going to be strong enough and it's right because you've really got to tug this. Oh, seriously tight, isn't it? Yeah, that's cool. Let's tie a knot with these two threads. But there's a little bit of blue showing there. Give me that. I really like that one. It's nice and tight. I don't know whether it's just the fabric that I'm really liking or this kind of little design, but it's definitely different to the others. Let me get the other two. Here's all three. That's the random line gathering. That's it pressed. And obviously that's the grid shearing that we've just done. So you can imagine if you did multiples of these, if not bigger pieces, then you could really cover some ground on the mannequin on the actual silhouette. I just popped them on the mannequin and you can see if you built up and did more of those you could get some fantastic final piece vibes for either your GCSE or your A-level. So how did you find creating these little samples? They're actually really quick and easy to do. I mean, if you wanted to use the sewing machine, um, you could have a go at using the sewing machine to do the grid shearing, see if that works as well. You could maybe use elastic in your, some thin elastic in your bobbin and on your machine and just see how that goes as well, just as another idea. But I actually really enjoyed doing the hand stitching. I don't often do, I don't find that I often do hand stitching. When I do, it really slows everything down and, it, and it's really quite a nice way of working. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed making these with me and I shall see you in the very next video. I feel as if we should fry. Let's try and just do something. That's my favorite, that one. I love that. I think, I don't know if it's the fabric. I imagine that. Built up. All right then, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.